Welcome to the Outlier Betting Strategy Series. My name is Dave Golikov. In this video, we're talking about betting on running back props and where to find value uh, with some of these lines. We know that sports books have gone crazy in a good way uh, over the last, let's say, five, six years. Then there's now a billion running back props. There's a billion everything props, right? But with running backs, you can do attempts, carries, touchdowns. Uh, probably passing from you know from time to time with some of these uh, books. Anytime touchdown, first touchdown, last touchdown, uh, touchdown over unders, um, you know yardage received. You know the list goes on and on. So we're going to take a look at three tips for betting these running back props and uh, the rest. If you need more, you can read the article. There's some more in depth there uh, on the Outlier Betting Intelligence blog. So. First thing that you want to know with running backs is what are the roles, right? Um, gone, it seems like anyways, are the days where you have a Ladanian Tomlinson type guy, Jamal Lewis, right? Who like hogs all the carries, is the bell cow, is uh, the receiving back, the third down back, the, you know, used in the red zone, used between the 20s. Seems like those days are kind of gone. Most teams are going to committees. Most teams are going away from star running backs completely. So the first thing you want to know when you're betting these props is what are the rules? Um, who is the third down back? Who's the third down blocking back? Who's going to be getting carries on first and second down? Who's going to be getting carries the majority of the game? Is it sort of two guys that are splitting the first and second, you know, down in terms of running? And then there's a third guy who is the receiving back? Is it sort of one guy carries, one guy's more receiving and blocking? You need to figure out these roles because this is going to determine whether you want to bet uh, overs, unders on you know, all sorts of things. You know, if a guy is known as a receiving back, you want to be very careful betting over on rushing yards, right? He might do well. He's probably going to have a low number for rushing yards if that's the case. But, you know, you want to be more focused on how many catches he'll have out of the backfield, how many yards he'll have out of the backfield receiving. Um, so knowing these roles is where you want to start and really drill down and figure out, okay, this guy's the running back. Uh, who's going to be carrying, mo you know, the majority of the time or, you know, early, early downs. This guy's going to be uh, used more in the red zone. So once you know those roles, then you can sort of figure out uh, which props match up with them. Next, you want to know what the game flow is. And this is very important. This is sort of one of those things where fantasy, uh, fantasy football and sports betting matches up very well. So a lot of fantasy football uh, players in recent years have been taking a closer look at over-unders for games and uh, thinking about, okay, if I'm going to rely on this guy in fantasy, a running back, whoever, you know, I want to be picking somebody who's uh, in a game that has a high total, right? If you see a number like, you know, an over-under of, uh, let's say, 55 to 60, what the odds makers are telling you is they're projecting a high-scoring game there. So that means points, that means lots of moving the ball, lots of offense, and you know that translates well to fantasy. So you want to do the same thing here for your running back props and take a look and see, okay, is this going to be a high-scoring game? If so, lots of movement, lots of running the ball. Um, maybe you go more, lean more to the overs for some of these props. Okay, uh, total is 35. It's going to be windy and cold. You know what? Maybe I want to lean under to some of these props. So you have to really take a look at the game flow uh, and, and look at the over-under. Now, the other aspect here of game flow that's important is what do you project as the setup here, right? Uh, let's say it's the Chiefs and they're a 14-point favorite and you're thinking about betting a running back on the other side. You know, the guy who handles the carries might not be used so much if the team is all of a sudden trailing the Chiefs, you know, 14 nothing in the first quarter, whereas the, the, the receiving back might have value for some of these over props uh, because now the other team's going to have to pass the ball and, um, you know, that scat back is, is going to be used more so in that scenario. So you really have to take a look at the game flow. Is the team that you're going to be betting on ahead? If so, maybe they're going to be running the ball more to milk the clock. If not, you know, look for some of the receiving backs to get some more touches because they're going to have to come from behind. So those are some of the things that you have to think about with game flow. Now, lastly, let's talk about 
the scoring, right? One of the most popular bets with running backs, with any, you know, any type of offensive player is the anytime touchdown prop. So if you're going to be betting anything like that, first touchdown, last touchdown, anytime touchdown, over-unders for touchdown, um, you need to know the rules. And you can do this by going to take a look at um, how, what's the what's the share of red zone touches per running back? You know, you can see numbers like red zone targets, red zone carries. Uh, sites like Pro Football Focus are pretty good for that. And that's going to give you an idea because some teams will use a running back from 20 to 20. And then when they get in the red zone, OK, it's hammer time, bringing the big back to punch it in. And you need to understand those roles of those of those players and the timeshares. Um, because if you're going to bet the scoring props, you want to make sure that your guy is getting those opportunities when it comes time to, uh, you know, get to the 10 yard line and in. So those are three tips to look for and hopefully help you win with running back props. If you want more, check out the outlier, uh, bet blog, the betting intelligence blog. We have a full article on this talking about some of the other tips to use. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you again soon.